Mm. Did you order the bus to the best wine region in Georgia? Then you are here right. Come in and let's go. Чай или кофе? Кофе. Как тебя зовут? Олег. Олег. Олег? Йонатан. Очень приятно. Йонатан. Джонатан. Ага, Йонатан. Да. Da, da. Ah, Alec uh, just invited me to his home because I was making the intro for Alec this video. Alec Georgia! Alec Georgia, yes. <laughs> A nice coffee. <laughs> Dogs are the security for them. It's, and they, I, mostly they're handsome. They're just barking and it's fine. He's telling that the car is 31 years old and yeah, it's his favorite car because it's still running and it's the Japanese car, Daihatsu, Daihatsu. Actually in Germany you will never see a Daihatsu, I never saw one because it's not so popular because yeah, it's also a big car industry. And we go now in the city, what is quite important from the political way back in the days, but not today anymore because Tbilisi, the main city is more important, of course. So I would say, let's go in the city and sightseeing tour with Oleg. Johnny Drugin Deitza! So we bought some food and we made a short tour through the city and now we are back. Hello. Do you want to see this bus more like me? Because I love this old bus. And I would say you should just come in. Come in. <laughs> I take you if you don't come. Can you close the door? Yeah, I show you this bus with a little bit of music because I feel like I shouldn't talk all the time. So let's go and see this bus with some some emotion. If you look up there, there is the oldest monastery from Georgia. And isn't this a nice bus? Excuse me, can I can I go out? Hmm, thank you. Okay, because now we go for coffee by Oleg. Да, я думаю. Ну да. Давай. Дай че. Давай. Счастливо. Счастливо. Ладно, ладно. А, шла, шла. За мира. За мира. Oh, <laughs> 
Ahora We go and get strawberry. What's it go? Thursday, and I'm having a beer, quite drunk already, five, and <laughs> just got invited for the morning breakfast, I feel like, it was nice, I got some strawberries and now I try to check further in the east of Georgia with a beer in my hand and I think the day gets better gets better so let's go I'm in Dignagi what is a small village up on the hill and there a lot of people come for a marriage and this is why it's also called the city of love the pastel colored houses are everywhere and when a lot of fours gave their money in this region so it's now quite touristic so you see a lot of taxis and of course tour guides who offer you a tour somewhere and then also you can see a lot of churches they are spread over the village and I spent some days here and it was beautiful. And this is the city center. Let's show you the stature and this park. But then here on the side is actually a memorial of all the Georgians who fall in the Second World War against the Germans. And yeah, it's a lot. There's so many. I just uh, read again that um, the Soviet Union lost you know, close to 40% of the people who died in the Second World War. This is a humongous number. There is still this fortress wall, what is preserved and also restructured and is like surrounded around the village and you can see all the towers and this beautiful stone structure. And this gives this village this nice flair and why also a lot of people come here every year but I want to find the wine and it's I think not the best place to get a cheap good wine and I actually live next to a school right here and yeah I slept this night but now I go and try to find a good wine tasting place with also Georgian food because it will be my last few days here in Georgia before I travel to Kazakhstan and so this is exciting and I hope I can show you and in my last days the best food what I experience in Georgia and maybe we find also the best wine and I would say let's go let's go Yeah, so if you come in, it's such a nice um, ambiente if you look at all the different things. And it's like this rustical, old, and in wood, and it's really nice. And so this place is a really good recommendation, what I saw. So you should check this out, so the prices are really well. And yeah, they have not so much wine difference, but um, yeah, we will see 
how good the food is, but I think it's really good. So I'm excited. I ordered a lot of different things. I will not surely know the names of it, but I will explain what it is and how it tastes. And like this horns, there are some people said that the reason is uh, they drink out of it because you can't put it on the ground. So you need to drink the whole in once because otherwise you would it would spill out of the horn. So the jugs where the wine get made in the soil, what I showed you in my last video, you should check this out. Um, I have a link up here so you can see where I showed some of them. This is kachapuri, what is this typical cheese dough with like this, um, there's like cheese inside and it's like a dough, yeah, cake, kind of a dough cheesecake. <laughs> Yeah, mostly you eat this with your hands, so. And then I have this mushroom, also with cheese on top. But it's really nice, because it's just mushrooms, and mushrooms are just the best vegetables. <laughs> and a cucumber tomato salad. Yeah, it's definitely really fresh and nice. Like all the things what I have already, and there's coming more. And this is kinkali, what is like a dough bag filled in in my case with mushroom and sauce and how you eat it is like you bite in and then you need to suck out all the juice who's inside and you yeah you need to leave the stamp and you don't want to waste the juice so it's not so easy to eat mm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's really good mushrooms are every time the best one i feel like i i didn't try the other ones but <laughs> And this one is, is the last one, what is pork. And yeah, it's a kind of fried pork. What I think is also really delicious. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's a little bit like shashlik, but um, just not on a, on a stick. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's quite typical Georgian. Like the salad, you get so many different salads in Georgia. Then the kachapuri, the cheese filled bag uh, out of dough. Then the kinkali, what is the filled bag with different things, cheese, meat, in my case with mushrooms. And then I have still the mushrooms and the pork with onions on top. What is, yeah, a nice side. And then we have like some beer and some wine. And all together, it's like, I think 15 euros. So it's like nothing because it will hold like for the next two days. I feel like so I have food. <laughs> what is perfect because I will need food in the future. <sighs> I'm full like a, <laughs> like a big bag. <laughs> but now I go in my forest and then tomorrow we make the wine tasting in the mountains. And by the way, it was, 55 lari, what is maybe 18 euros, 20 dollar, and you should pay in cash because, yeah, you couldn't pay with card. But the ATM is not so far. Whew. And this is definitely recommendable. So if you are coming to the east of Georgia, then you should go there and have a nice drink. So wine, maybe somewhere else, but. The food is definitely recommendable. <sighs> oh, beautiful day. How was it? People die on the shortcuts. I took the old way because it was so much shorter. And yeah, I need to go somewhere over there. So I think I go to this stone and then trying to come up there. Ay, ay, ay. So slippery. Ah. So let's see if we can make it. This off. It's not dying. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing.
made it to my destination. A waterfall 40 meters high or deep <laughs> and I got some ice wine. Ice wine is like the most special wine I would say. Also quite expensive but I wanted to try it once and yeah. Do you see this rainbow? Can you see the rainbow before you get wet? Because <laughs> I get wet. So I think we go up there so you can hear me better and I will taste this one and maybe give you um, kind of advice or just in how it tastes and how, what I think about ice wine. And then in the evening we have a taste with red wine, but it's also a good one, I hope. And I will see if I can taste the ages or the, yeah, the good taste from Cajete. <laughs> this mice is not afraid at all. It's just running around, I think. Because there are so many less humans here, so they are not afraid of any human. That's beautiful. So beautiful. So this is how it looks. It's uh, like a white wine. Mm. A little bit like this gummies, like some some gummy, some gummy bears, or mm. something really sweet. So it's quite clear. So let's give it a try and see how it tastes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, it's really sweet. It has some like some acid. It's like a little bit when you drink vinegar that you like not as strong, but like a tiny like bit you can feel it in the throat. Wow, it's so so rich and so full, and it like fills your whole mouth with like this blooming honey. Ah. It's actually, that's really delicious. I, I totally understand the price for this. I can't say if it's a good one or not, but it's tasty. It's really tasty. And it was 18 euros for half a bottle. So it's like, yeah, like 36 euros for a normal bottle. Yeah, like actually honey is quite a good description. It's um, well, like maple syrup, if you know this, like sweetness. Ah, oh, this is... Um, but also really fruity and let's see what I should taste. <laughs> so it says 2016 vintage wine is beaten golden color with glimmering highlights, dense and sticky. It exposes ripe poached pears, candied berry, honey and golden raisins. Vibrant fruit flavors accented by the natural sweetness are well balanced with embedded orange zest. <laughs> I don't know even <laughs> what everything means, but <laughs> yeah, it's funny because, uh, yeah, the honey, I definitely got the candy berry. I feel like this was my, my like some, some gummy, some gummy bears. So it's, it's interesting. If you never tried it, I would explain like juice, alcohol, you will not taste actually because it's so sweet. And, um, it yeah, has like a juice with like a big mouthful flavor. So your the whole mouth gets full and it's really rich of this sweetness. So I came to my shelter and I have a nice Chateau Mugrani and it's from 2018. And it's a red dry wine and I paid like yeah eight euros. So it's it's a lot. You get wine for one euro. So it's like not the lowest, but it's still uh, something. And I think let's give it a try and I will make it a little bit faster because I know you can't taste it. Just in general, I had a lot of wine in Georgia and I had also the cheapest mostly. <laughs> and I was surprised it was mostly quite good in comparison to what I get in Germany when I buy the cheapest one. But uh, yeah, I didn't taste it as much I do today. Mm. It's like a really fruity berry, like a lot of berries. Blueberry. Ah. Okay, let's give it a try. I feel like I don't want to keep you waiting. <laughs> you can't even try it. Yeah, it's a little bit sour, but it's 
staying long, staying long in your on your tongue, like the flavor, and mm -hmm. yeah, it goes down. Really good actually, but yeah, it's like I feel like not comfortable to give good advice. I can just say it's it's tasty wine for what it is, and yeah, it's a definitely recommendable. I think this is all. If you want to subscribe because you didn't do it yet, then you should do it. Leave me a like if you like this video, and uh, I can just definitely recommend Georgia as a country. We have been now five, six months, and I will go in the another country in three days. So the next video will be also in another country. I told you once, if you know, and hope you enjoyed this about Georgia, about the food, it's uh, incredible and yeah. Also I have a question, <laughs> if you are already so long in my video and watching it, because I'm thinking to change in German, what do you think, like are you English speaker or are you German or are you, do you understand English? <laughs> I think for me it's like just easier, what is not my purpose in general, but um, yeah, I was like thinking if everybody who's watching is only German, then why do I don't do it in German? I don't know, I'm a little bit struggling with this topic, but leave me like a comment and just say if you would like to have it in English or if you would like to have it in German. I would say, see you in my next video and enjoy your day. Bye.